That was some great chord voicings taken from Ben Jonsson's solo over Donna Lee. And if you're interested in learning the complete solo, you can uh, watch this video. But today we're going to look at the chords that Ben plays over the minor 2 5 one progression. Uh, and we're going to try to analyze what uh, he's doing and uh, try to put the ideas into our own playing. So stick around. Before we start, I just want to inform you that you can uh, download um, a PDF uh, to this lesson. Okay, so the first chord that Ben plays, or the first chord that we are going to look at, uh, is uh, a G minor 11th chord. And uh, he's playing this chord uh, over a uh, minor 2 for 1 progression. So, um, Instead of playing a G minor 7 flat 5, the 2 chord of the minor 2 5 1 progression, he is omitting the flat 5 and putting some extensions on it, like uh, the natural 9, the 11th, and he's playing this chord, the G minor 11th chord, as a rootless voicing. And there's going to be a lot of rootless voicings in these examples. So, G minor 11th, um, going to the 5 chord, which is a C7 chord. In this case, Ben is playing a C13 with the flat 9th. And what's interesting is that he's connecting the 2 chord to the 5 chord using a single line. Really nice. And uh, of course, this uh, C13 flat 9th chord is rootless also. Both these chords actually have something in common, and that's this interval. It's a major 7 interval. And this major 7 interval is actually not only used for these chords. So, we're going to look at the first chord again. Going to the 5 chord. And uh, we're going to go to this chord. And this is a C augmented triad. So it goes from uh, to the 1 chord. So this is a uh, kind of a F minor chord, but uh, Ben is playing a F minor major 11th chord. And it's rootless, and it also has this major 7 interval. Okay. Quite dissonant and uh, quite nice. So we have that's the first example uh, of this uh, minor two for one progression that uh, Ben is playing. So let's look at the second example. So again, we have this uh, minor two for one progression in F minor. The two chord is, of course, uh, G minor 7, flat 5. Ben is playing, again, a rootless G minor 11th chord. Which also contains a uh, natural 9. So it's exactly the same chord as the first chord in the last example. So that was a G minor 11th with a natural 9, rootless. And this is a... Uh, G minor 11th with the natural 9, rootless also. So, same chord. Again, Ben is using a single line to go from the 2 chord to the 5 chord. Really nice voice leading. So this C7 chord is a C7 altered kind of chord. And uh, it's a C7 sharp 5, sharp 9th. 
Sounds nice. And this chord is actually kind of a magic chord because you can use it for anything almost. But uh, that's for another video, so don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell. And this chord also has this uh, major 7 in it. And it's a rootless voicing. And we're using another single line to connect it to the next chord. To the one chord. And a kind of minor chord. So instead of the F minor chord, the band is playing... Uh, so... Yeah, pretty cool, but uh, of course this is just uh, a line that goes from F minor to C7 back to F minor again. What's more important for us is just to play any kind of F minor, I think, here. Like... Because we are just checking the voicings in this video and the lines that connect the voicings. And if you want to play this line, but still want to have it resolving not to the F minor chord, but to the two chord again, you have to modify it. And there is an example of that in uh, this PDF. Okay, so what's the conclusion here? Well, man is playing a lot of rootless voicings in these examples, and uh, this kind of interval. And of course, if you want to continue playing these major seventh intervals in uh, the chords. You can play this voicing, for example. F minor, 6, 9. Okay, so is there anything else that we can take from this? Well, Ben is uh, playing a lot of extensions and he's playing a lot of alterations. And he's omitting the 5 uh, when the 5 isn't uh, a sharp 5. And what's more interesting, I think, is the natural 9 on the minor 7 flat 5 chord. So we have this note. And he's just letting the bass play the flat 5. And another pretty cool thing is that the single lines is based on different degrees of the melodic minor scale. Okay, so let's take this kind of Ben Jonsson ish kind of formula and try to apply that formula to our own playing. Mm -hmm. 